Sicilian defense, open, dragon, laven fish variation, 6, NC67.NXC6. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well fought middle game that black got the better of. White's end game precision was a cut above black. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. When black eventually plays Nf6, white is prevented from moving the piece to e5 by the opening of the light squared bishop on d6. d4 offers to trade the d pawn for the c pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. Cx d4 provides black two key pawns while giving white only one. Nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and starts to develop on the queen side. G6 prepares to fianchetto the dark squared bishop on g7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. F4 takes space on the king side and controls the e5 square. Nc6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the knight on d4. Nx c6 captures the knight and attacks the queen. Recaptures. The knight is thus brought to safety. This exchange is fair. Backs off. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is the final book action. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is incorrect. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. This stops the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling queenside tends to be more active because the rook is closer to the center. It is best. This squanders a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. Castling develops a rook, while also getting the king to safety. By castling to the opposite side of the board as the opponent, the game will tend to be more double-edged. It is best. This misses a chance to pose a pun winning threat. It is incorrect. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. That is good. The pawn is now adequately defended. This stops the opponent from being able to win a knight. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This strikes a rival rook. That's good. This ignores a superior strategy for protecting a pawn that was being attacked. It is incorrect. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This misses a chance to link together rooks. It is incorrect. This poses a threat to an open file and a rook. As a result, the adversary can take an open file containing a rook. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to capture an open file with a rook. This enables the adversary can grab an open file containing a rook. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. This defends the attacked pawn. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is good. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. This prevents the rival from taking an open file with a rook. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a piece. This allows the opponent to challenge the opposing rook for the open file. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a better strategy for challenging the rook's claim to the open file. 
it is incorrect. Thus, the assaulted rook is protected. That's good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This misses a chance to use a pawn to attack the center. It is incorrect. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This permits the opponent to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This provides an equal exchange of parts. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. There was only one good move there. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is a mistake. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This disregards an improved method of getting a rook to safety. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Backs off. White is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. That is good. This steps away from the checking rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a knight. It is incorrect. A wise decision. It is quite good. This misses the chance to send a knight to capture an outpost. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it? It is incorrect. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. This wins a pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. This makes a check visible. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This poses a rook kicking threat. It is incorrect. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. This poses a rook kicking threat. It is incorrect. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. The rook is now in a safe position. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. That's good. It's alright. That's good. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This avoids the rook's check. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is quite good. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. This is the only good move. This stops the opponent from being able to create a passed pawn. It is a great move. This poses a rook kicking threat. It is ideal. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is quite good. A pawn kicks the opposing rook, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is quite good. A rook is positioned behind a passed pawn as a result, assisting in its promotion. It is quite good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. 
it is quite good. A past pawn is pushed by this. It is ideal. Thus, a forced checkmate is possible. It is incorrect. The past pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that black got the better of. White's end game precision was a cut above black.